So last night I went and saw Toy Story and Anna, and then I was like, oh, The Dead Don't Die is finally coming to my, uh, near my theater. Not my actual theater, I had to drive, you know, like 15 minutes away to go to another theater. So, yeah, that's why I had to go, this movie, this, these next reviews are a few late, because I had to go drive far to go see these movies, and... Oh, God. The Dead Don't Die. This movie is directed by Jim Schwartz. Jim Schwartz. I, I, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've never seen a single movie from this guy's directing movies. I've never seen it. I've heard about Broken Flowers. I've heard about that Patterson movie, and I guess he, you know, he uses all these actors before, and so he's like, all right, I'm doing a zombie movie. Can you all be in it? So you got like Bill Murray, Adam Driver, Tilda Swin, Danny Glover, Selena Gomez. Who am I forgetting? It, it is. It's a cast. I'll give them that. It is a cast of movie, and the basic storyline I could say is uh, this little town, Sunnerville, something like that. Basically, they're in this little town and zombies rise because the Earth's axis is falling off and it's not all falling off, it's like turning around or something like that. It was actually a pretty neat idea for to bring zombies to life. I was like, alright, I buy this. And the movie just starts and it happens and you know, we get the Dead Don't Die song like four times in this movie that I don't even know if it's a real song, but they make jokes about the artist the entire time and this movie is just weird. And I guess, I don't know, I don't know if I'm the right person to review this movie because it, from the feels of it. It feels like this movie is like a fan service from this director to these actors to the people who go see this movie. I think. But just from a person who hasn't seen any of his movies and walked in this movie, my honest gut is that it was a terrible movie. But again, I enjoyed myself in a weird way. I don't know. It's an enigma. I don't know how to explain this movie. So, again, I'll start with the positives. First things first, dry, the dry humor in this movie was outstanding. Like, I mean, the Bill Murray and Adam Driver together, they're just talking in certain scenes. It's just funny. It's just funny how they talk and everything. And there's certain lines that are repeated that make certain moments funny. Like, there's a certain line that three people say in a row, and then like 10 minutes later, someone else says it on the news. I was like, that's funny. And there's always little tiny jokes, whatever, and, and I, I'm not spoiling it, because I guess so, but there's also fourth wall break. Like, these are actors in a role doing a movie, and they know it, but then there's moments where it's not that, and then there are moments where there is, I'm like, that's so confusing, but it's also really funny. Like there's, there's, a, like, there's a certain scene where a character is asking, how do you know this is going to happen? And this character responds with, I read the script, and it's funny. I laughed, I thought it was really funny, I was like, what? wait, are you talking about this movie? And there's reference where they actually make a, a joke about the director, and they like call him a dick. And I was like, this is this is funny, but this it, but in the storyline and character development and what this movie is, it just comes out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, and like I don't know. And the movie it, they fight zombies, whatever. When they kill zombies, whatever, smoke comes out of them. And I was like, I don't like that. Did not like that one bit. But when the be zombies do eat people, guts do get seen. It's an R-rated movie, so there is that. Um, again, dry humor is the best part. All these characters, there are so many moments that are built up and talked to and you're thinking to yourself, those two are going to end up together by this movie. But there are so many things that lead up to things, it never happens. And I'm like, what was the purpose of that? There are certain scenes where people are talking, the camera will cut away into like, there's like a scene where two guys are talking in this like hardware store. And it literally just cuts to a scene, it cuts to a, a hardware supplies on the wall and they're still talking and, and you hear them and it cuts to another hardware thing and goes right back to them. I was like, what was the point of that? Th there was no like, it was not focusing on something at all. It was literally just hardware store and they were just talking. And like, again, there's scenes where people are just talking and there's, after watching the movie, you go back and you're like, what was the purpose of that conversation? What was the purpose of that character set up? What was the purpose of us character getting like sparkles on their face when they said their name? What was the purpose of this? Like. It, it, it never leads to anything. And there is one scene with Tilda Swinton. If you see it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I, it came out of nowhere. It, it, I was sitting in the movie theater, and Tilda Swinton is on screen, and the next shot shows something. I'm like, stop. Don't do this. And then two minutes later, the scene's over, and it's like, what the actual fuck? What was the purpose of that? Why do we need to see that? What is this movie? <laughs> when you see it, 
You know what I'm talking about. It is with Tilda Swinton. It is just, it's a joke they made, and it turns out real? But it was like, did we really need that? I don't know, because I don't know this director. I don't know his style. And my god, there is a theme in this movie about phones and how we're, our Earth is pretty much assholes and we're just turning into stupid heads because our phones and technology and they hit they grab a hammer and hit it over your head in the very ending of this movie trying to say here's the message of this movie even though we all came here because of zombies and the trailer was more fast paced because this movie is slow as hell like oh my god it takes them forever to get to the zombies and then it takes forever to get to any action scenes but again, the dry humor is great. It's the dry humor is actually A plus material. Like really, it really is. It's it's really funny dry humor. But like the it's slow paced. And there's just jokes that they go over and over again. It's like and there's like certain scenes where my whole crowd was dying laughing of a character going walking in a straight line and turning in like this and walking like this. And it's like, what what is so funny? Like I I, I don't get it. And oh no, I almost I almost forget. I, I'm talking about this movie a lot, but there's these characters, it's like these three uh, teenagers, whatever, they're in this uh, hospital. Um, the whole movie, they're like, they basically know what's going on. Like, they know. They watch the news and they figure it out. So the whole time I'm thinking, they're going to end up probably doing something. This is not a spoiler, I, I don't think so. But when they finally get out of this hospital, I'm not kidding you, it leads to nothing. And when the movie's over, I literally sat back and I was like, I asked my friend, I was like, what happened to those characters? What happened to their arc? What 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 was their purpose? And he's like, oh, we never found out what happened to them. And it just ends. I'm not kidding you. They didn't wrap up a story. I don't know if it was a mistake or it was a purpose. I don't know. But it, they didn't wrap it up. And I'm pretty upset. So, yeah. Uh, the dead don't die. And you know what? I'm not going to grade this movie. You know why? Because I don't know how to grade it. I don't know if it, this movie was supposed to be this bad or if it's a style. But me personally, I truly, I mean, I never care to watch it again. It was a bad movie? But then again, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the craziness of the movie. So I don't know how to tell you to see this movie. Do I recommend this movie? I, I definitely I wouldn't pay to see it. But if you're a fan of the director, I guess go see it because I mean, it's a director that I guess has a themes and style that I I obviously don't know. So if I don't know this director and everything, and me going in, I just I didn't I didn't see I didn't get it. I guess. So yeah, no grade for this movie because it's just that weird. It is that weird. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.